I'm gonna warn you all now, this uh, bread recipe was a challenge. Um, and it, I fought it from beginning to end. So in here, I'll try and delete out where I start with the original ingredients, but if I can't, and they're in there, pay no attention to them. At the end of the video, I'll go through the ingredients and what I did, and, and you'll see me struggle through this whole recipe. But in the end, it came out really good. So uh, enjoy, here it comes. I hope it's not too long, I hope it's not too boring. I hope you get some laughs out of it, because uh, it, was a, it was a real struggle to the oven. Hey everybody, welcome to the kitchen. Sorry for the long time without posting, but unfortunately I uh, got kind of busy and got COVID again. Um, so I'm vaccinated, boosted, but somehow um, I went to a gathering um, down in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida for someone who passed away, big crowd, and uh, I think I probably carried it home from there. Um, so the first question everybody asked me is, well, was it any different than the first time you had it? And my answer is, uh, it, it was all the same symptoms. For me, I never lost my sense of taste or smell or anything, but um, I did feel achy. I probably had a fever. Um, that you know the pressure in your head like you get when you're a headache a uh, headache lasted for two or three days um, but I will say this time it, it those uh, symptoms only lasted for about three days where last time I had COVID I think I slept for about eight days straight but anyways back at it so it's coming up on Memorial Day and my wife loves French toast we're headed down to um, our little little house down at the coast and and uh, I do have a flat top down there and I like to cook on it so I thought well maybe I'll make a French toast breakfast one day and then the more I thought about it and the more I thought about it I said well why don't I try and make like a French toast bread but today I'm gonna try something a little different I love cooking with pumpkin I think when you have pumpkin and muffins or pumpkin and uh, anything and then you add syrup to it or sugar to it it just brings out some some great flavor so now, what am I going to add to that? So I looked in my pantry. I got some coconut sweetened. I'm going to add some coconut to it, probably a cup. I have some cranberries. I'm going to add three quarters to a cup of that. I have some sunflower seeds. I don't know how much it is. Probably it's probably a half a cup. I would put close to a cup in if I had them, but I, I think I have. I'm going to put all of them in there. And I have some walnuts, some chopped walnuts. I'm gonna put that in there, probably a cup of that. And a can of pumpkin. Just regular old pumpkin that you buy in the store for like making a pumpkin pie. And that's kind of where I'm gonna start. And I'll be putting that together in a couple of minutes. Stick, stick around and you'll see it. And hopefully it's either gonna be an epic fail or it's gonna be the greatest French toast bread ever. All right, I apologize. I was trying to control my phone, uh, GoPro from my phone, and when I made my yeast mixture, uh, I was taking photos and not a video. So what's in here? I got a cup of warm water, a tablespoon of flour, and a tablespoon of maple syrup because I realized I didn't have any honey, and then two packages of platinum yeast and this is the yeast I was talking about platinum yeast I just find it to be awesome yeast it works really well so that's been in here I set it back here I let it I don't know, give it five or ten minutes and then I start putting my ingredients in so we're gonna go with three and a half cups of flour and now I'm doing a cup and a half of wheat flour One cup, a half a cup, two teaspoons of salt, and we'll take our salt and we'll pour it over the sink. Miss Karen taught me that so I don't have runaway salt in my in my recipe. Dump half the salt in there because you're not paying attention. Now, I'm going to do yeah, probably three tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm 
I put my yeast mixture in. Where I, I love these little scrapers, they work great. Especially for a cup like this, you know, you put a big scraper in there and you can't get everything out. So we got our yeast mix. And now we put in a splash of oil. I'm going to use avocado oil. We start adding, now we start adding our water. The recipe calls for three and a half cups. I'm over here. The recipe calls for three and a half cups of warm water. You don't want it too hot or it'll burn the, it'll kill the yeast. I have, I put one cup in when I did the yeast, the cup of water, warm water. So I'm going to start with, I have two cups here. I'm just going to slowly add it. Put about a cup in there to let it get going. And I'm also going to add my pumpkin because the pumpkin is going to, Add a lot of moisture. sides, get all this flour up out of the bottom. Real time, folks. This is real time. One of my harebrained ideas. Let's see how it turns out. Again, it could be an epic fail, or it could be delicious. Right now, it's looking a little moist, so I'm glad that I didn't put all that water in there. is really making it moist. All right, while this is moving, I'm going to put my coconut in. Put in a cup of coconut. Cup of cranberries. First, I got this much sunflower seeds left over. We'll put them in there. That was probably less than a half a cup. Now we'll put in a cup of cranberries. I often wonder if a chef were ever to, or a cook or a baker or anywhere to watch this thing, probably would go, that guy is crazy. What is he doing? But this is how you learn. And this is going to be the best French toast bread known to man.
I just know it. I usually like to let it work for at least five to eight minutes or so before I try and add any flour to it because it will dry out on its own. By the way, I don't have any nuts. I thought I had walnuts. I don't, so there won't be any walnuts in this recipe. What we're going to do when we're done here is we're going to put this in a bowl, lightly oiled, and give it a chance to rise. This is going to be our bowl since my bread bowl that I like to use is in the refrigerator with my salad that I'm having for lunch. Let's give this a quick spray with some avocado oil. Set it aside. Run the sides down on this one more time. of water which is going to end up being too much with the can of pumpkin. All right it's a little wet it's not really wanting to climb the dough for it, the dough hook rather so I'm going to slowly add some flour about a tablespoon at a time and then give it a couple a minute or so maybe a minute and a half run the sides down Last thing you want is it getting too dry and then it won't want, it won't want to rise. I'm gonna have a little, today it's 56 degrees in North Carolina. Normally I could go out into my garage and let it rise out there because it's a little closer to 80 normally. Um, I keep my house at 70, well it's at 70 on its own today. Um, so the rise time is going to be a little longer today. I usually like it to be a little closer to 80. You know, there's no perfect dough recipe because depending on where you're at and what you decide to put in your bread, I mean, you know, just temperature alone is enough to, to, to make your, to make your your dough work totally different than your friend's dough halfway across the United States. You know, that's why in St. Not St. Louis, but out in California, San Francisco, you know, they swear by the sourdough bread out there because of the climate, right? Climate changes, the dough works differently. of the way. Alright, our dough is in our nice white bowl. Still a little moist, but I'll work it uh, I'll work it in flour when I get it on its second rise. I think it'll be fine. And may even give it a third rising. Gonna cover it with a towel, put it up here on top of the stove, which is probably the warmest place in your house with the lamp on. And we're gonna give it some time. All right, here we are. A Costco run of time back. I don't know, hour and a half, hour and 30, hour and 45 minutes. Look at that dough. Now that is a risen dough. Now, I know that this dough is a little wet because remember I'm practicing here. 
or I'm just kind of going on the fly making up this recipe. So I'm going to put a significant amount of, of flour down to bring this out into because I feel like it's a little wet and I need to work it. I need to work it. I need to work it right now. And it's wet. When you can touch it and it's hanging on your fingers, it's too wet. So I'm gonna move it around in this dough or this flour. And then I'm gonna put some more flour on it. And at the end, or maybe I broke in and gave an explanation at some point in the video, but I'll, uh, I'll try and firm up these quantities. The big thing is what I did here that I would caution everyone not to do is that I added, I just dumped the water in there. Don't, don't do that. And I know better than that. But I originally called for three cups, but since I put the cup, the can of pumpkin in there, I convinced myself that two cups would be perfect and I put two cups of water in I'm sorry I put another cup of water in because my yeast was in one cup of water and I convinced myself that it was going to be perfect well it wasn't perfect so it made a, it made a wet very wet dough which you know hey, every work of art Needs a little, needs a little tuning. And that is a lot of depth. So I think I try and spray the corners of these pans and if you haven't heard me say this 25 times the most useful tool in your arsenal is right here and I'm going to split this three ways Might not be the highest bread in the world, but it's okay for French toast, right? And this bigger piece. So there we go. Hopefully, three nice. So after about an hour and 45 minutes, my breads rose and I forgot to video it. But um, anyways, what I did was I put some pumpkin seeds in water in this and then I laid them out on this and I dried them. And then I scooped the pumpkin seeds up and basically dusted it over top of the breads. There's the breads in the oven, 375. And I'm going to let them go for probably 35 minutes. Okay, in the end, I'm going to say let's going to do four cups of flour, two cups of whole wheat flour, two teaspoons of salt, three tablespoons of maple syrup, two packages of yeast, two cups of warm water, and you use one cup of that to make your yeast and flour mixture to feed the yeast splash of oil, tea, a cup of coconut, a cup of cranberry, three quarters cup of sunflowers, a cup of walnuts if you have them. I got them when I went to uh, Costco, but I didn't have time to put them in, and a can of pumpkin. And when you make this, 
Take one cup of warm water, put your yeast and your flour and your maple syrup, and a, teaspoon of ma a tablespoon of maple syrup in there to feed the yeast and get the yeast going. Put all of your dry ingredients, including the pumpkin, in the, in the uh, mixer. Start the mixer. Then you should have another cup of warm water reserved. Slowly put that water in there. The pumpkin adds so much moisture to this mix, and that's what got me on this. And I ended up chasing it all the way to the oven. But that's okay. Uh, I think it's going to turn out fine. It looks great. It smells awesome. Um, I can't wait to try a piece. So if you would, please like, please subscribe. Recipes go bad. Not every, not every, not every recipe is perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. So I, I wanted everyone to see what, it, what sometimes what you got to go through. Just hang in there. Hang with it. It'll, it'll happen. Uh, I got some jalapeno poppers coming up. I'm making them right now. Um, you'll probably see remnants around. And I'm going to do scalloped potatoes and ham a little later. So uh, try and get some videos out. Get 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 away from get get done with this COVID and get back get back in the get back in the groove. Uh, I'm probably going to do some stone crab uh, trap videos this weekend. I hope uh, down in Harker's Island. And uh, it doesn't look like I'll be able to fish, but uh, we'll we'll do some stone crabbing. So y'all take it easy, like and subscribe. Thanks for sticking in there. I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm going to try and shorten it as much as I can in the video process, but we'll see. Thanks for hanging in. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.